Right, so we did draw the entire circuit as we can see here. And um, this, so now there is one last step that remains after you completed the entire circuit. Now we need to check for the netlist errors. <clears throat> now when I speak of netlist errors, it means that um, are there any collections, connections which are loose ends and which have not been connected? Or are there any um, circuit issues or are there any pins that have not properly connected and things like that? So um, let's uh, click on file here. And out here you can select, click, you can see this, check schematic for netlist errors. So let's click on that. Now here we can see that it is showing us a selected corner is only connected to one wire. This indicates that the wire is not properly connected at both ends. Check the wire and, I, and either delete it or drag the wire's end to the desired connection point. That is either a corner or a component pin. Another option is to terminate the wire by connecting, connecting it to a port symbol. So this is one error that it is showing us. Okay. So I'll click continue. So this is one such point. Where is it showing us? Oops, yeah, we need to drag this down. But uh, it is showing us at the output end. So we'll check that out. Then I click continue here. So it shows me the second place or the second error. Again, it's a netlist error and it is showing me the same error. Now, why is that? Let's click continue. And that's it. So out it is showing us there are zero errors, but there are two warnings. And then netlist is complete. I click OK. Now, what is the problem here? As we see here, it showed us over here at this point and at this point. Now, what has happened here is we have drawn the entire circuit diagram, but these two points were left open. Why are they left open? Let's be, let's take a quick look. Mm, so, what I'll do is we'll open the circuit diagram and we'll see here. See, out here it is connected to the output of 1.2 volts to 30 volts. Now this is a plus and this is a minus. So we are supposed to take this connection further, which we did not. And therefore that error came up. So what I'll do here is, let's minimize this. We come back here on the schematic. And I'll connect the port. So let's click on the ground connection. And it is asking us for port. So let's select left pointing four letters wide. So I'm selecting left pointing four letters wide. So this is the port that it is showing us. So what I'll do is I'll drag this port and connect it over here. And then I'll drag another port. Now what is the other part? Yeah, out here that's positive, right? So out here it's showing us to the output. So I'll mention it over there that it's output 1.2 volt to 30 volt. And this is the negative part. Uh, uh, this is the negative uh, terminal that is connected to the ground out here. So I'll add another port over here. I can also select it as power ground. So I'm selecting over here. And uh, I can drag and connect it over here. So this is power ground. So it shows us. Now let us click on file. Let us select check schematic netlist errors. Again, the select a symbol does not have net name assigned to it. Symbols that are used in the name of net wires and connections either remove the symbol or give it a net name field. Of course, we have not named it. That is one error. Then I click cancel. And then that's it. That is the only error that we have. We do not have any other error over here. So what I'll do is I'll click double click on that and I'll mention here 1.2 volt to 30 volts. And um, that is what output, right? Output. So that is a net name that we have given to this. And I click OK. So that's the net name, which I'll place it over here. And this is the ground connection. Now let's save this diagram again. I click on check schematic for netlist errors. See, now it's showing us that you're checking the netlist for errors is complete. And now there are no errors or warnings are found. And I click okay so this is how you uh, draw a circuit diagram and then take it to a meaningful end by ensuring that all the um, errors and any netlist errors and warnings are also closed so um, that's it this is how you draw a circuit diagram in express schematics thank you